Hey everyone, welcome to my next TRLE walkthrough. I'm doing Beyond the Ski on this time, and it's it's kind of a, a remake. The first level is a remake of like Tomb Raider Anniversary level, the last one. And then the rest of the levels just go on from there. And it's actually one of the best TRLEs I've played. It's very long, the longest I've played, and it's very well thought out. So, if I go to New Game, we get a lot of writing writing stuffs. Um, I can't do a nomad pack run of this game because there's far too many places where we need to take fall damage and it's a lot of damage <laughs> that's taken away which is very unfair but I'll try and use as, as few med packs as possible and also I don't know if anyone's actually noticed I usually put um, my own personal ratings in the uh, description box and this game in particular for secrets it's very poor on secrets so it won't get a very high rating because not every level has secrets I think there's about five or six levels in this one and they don't all have secrets unfortunately Okay, so now we get the gameplay. Uh, in Immediately in this corner we've got some revolver ammo and directly opposite is a lever that will open the big door there. But brace yourself because it gets a bit crazy. So we've got the duck and roll button in this game. Oops! No! So That's a very handy move to have. So just follow the corridor around. We come to some clang clang doors. And we also get diary updates you can see in the corner there in this one. So let's have a look. So basically if we have a look this just shows us how many secrets and some of the um, the controls. So some new ones, some old ones. No. But and there are three secrets in this first level. But I will I'll be splitting the first level, this level, into two videos and all the secrets are at the end, so there won't be any secrets in this video, unfortunately. But they've got a, a new thing, you can see the hunter's reward there. If you get all the secrets, you get an extra trophy. So that's kinda cool. So we carry on we can see right at the end some revolver ammo and you'll recognize this room from Tomb Raider Anniversary if, when we get close enough two of the pods will activate not all of them so that's all right and there's a door here but clearly we need something to open that so firstly I'll come over to the the pods and activate them. We've got a crawler and a flying thing and the flying ones take off a lot of damage so hopefully I'll get rid of this one and then we can deal with the flying one. Yes. Where is it? I don't know. He's not moved. Oh don't touch me. Don't let it touch me. They can be poisonous as well. Okay. So now if we come to the end of the room... It looks like shotgun am ammo in the corner, but it's not. It's revolver ammo. There's lots of revolver ammo in this level. Which is awesome. sure you recognize this room. It's a lot harder than an anniversary. It's 
so if we come forward, we'll activate that pod. There's only one. I didn't mention that there are two difficulties of this game. The, the person that created it made two levels of difficulty. And this one is the normal difficulty. So we see that door right over there. This lever opens the door, but it's on a timer. Yeah, so in the uh, in the harder difficulty you get uh, shorter timers and I think um, less pickups and the the um, enemies have higher health, more health. Um, yeah, so we come in here, there's a, a door there and that looks like a door, but it's not. So we open that tiny door on the left by stepping onto here. So what we're doing now, we're actually looking for something to, if I can get away from the wall, to open that previous door with. There are too many walls. Right. So there's a, a ledge there. So we need to get to the ledge. So I'm going to save, just in case. Okay. And this is the Atlantean disk. That will open that first door that we passed. And it's a lot easier to get back than it is to get into that gap. So just come the way we came, the door will open as we approach it. And what I think is really interesting about this game is you get the, uh, on the other side of the door here, there's a laser sight. And it's the first time I've ever noticed that you get the, the scope or laser sight before you get the weapon for it. So here it is. So it's quite interesting, it makes it more challenging. And it's, well I suppose it's a bit trolly really, a bit of a troll. So now when we come out onto the, the second tier, I'm going to save again. Just because the pods activate here, two of them, the flying ones and they can give you a tough time. Oh no! I didn't lose too much damage. Whoa! Yeah, as I've said, they can poison you as well. So, okay. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> it could have been worse. So we climb back up again. Whoops. Okay, we can see in front of us there's a door there. And to the left there's a block. In front of the block there, there's a uh, a funny looking tile. So I wonder what we do here. Yeah, you know what we do. <laughs> so doing this will open the door. There's a hole. <laughs> I wonder why there's a hole. Uh, 
And I didn't mention there's another door at the far end of this door that we need to... That's the ultimate goal, we need to open that far door. And there's a slope and a boulder. So yeah, that's what the hole's for. <laughs> so when we come in, Lara will actually look at this. So we need to shoot two of them and that door will open. So this one's the easy one to shoot. And here it comes. Okay. So the next one is on the opposite side. Yeah, the door we're trying to open is right over there. So we've got another block here. We need to pull it in front of that one so we can push that block. This one is a lot harder. You need to be directly in front. Bang on in the centre. Oh, that was pretty quick. Usually it takes a lot longer than that. But just make sure you're on this flat bit. I don't think it matters whereabouts on this flat bit you are as long as you are directly in front. You see that's I've moved now, but that's not good enough. Even that might not be very good for it. But anyway, so now we can go through that door. In the corner on the way there, just here, there's some more revolver ammo. So we're not likely to run out. making our way through to the the area where you actually climb up the lava room that I call it the puzzle lava room <laughs> and here is the revolver so I'll combine the uh, laser sight now and so if we come through we'll activate one of the flying things more updates. That's just talking about the revolver coming in handy. <laughs> you can see his face on the floor. <laughs> so, let me go to the diary. Conserve the ammo. You don't really need you get plenty of it. Right, so this first section is pretty easy. Swing from the poles to the other side. So I will line myself up and then save. Lots of saving in this bit. So to grab the pole you want to be right in the centre there. I've noticed about TRLE levels, you need to be bang in the centre of the pole to grab it. If you've not grabbed it, you're possibly off. So if we come and grab the small med pack down here. Uh, you can get back up onto the, um, the ledge above, or you can jump straight from there. Like run and jump from here. Or, let me show you how to get up from here. You just press the jump. Oh, be a bit more to the left. 
Press jump, and she will grab. So. so, more revolver ammo. And this is the hardest part of this room. And by the way, lots of things move here. I don't know why, because it has no consequence to any of her actions. So I'll line myself up again and save again. So you want to be... Ooh, <laughs> I didn't mean to run. You want to be close to the left without being all the way to the left. And possibly be at a slight angle so you know she will definitely go down forwards. So let me save. And the, uh, the tile there with a, a picture, that's a, a trigger tile and it triggers a, a platform to come out of the wall there which is timed, it's a very short timer so you want to jump to the pole onto the platform that comes out and line yourself up for the crack in the wall where the flame is so this is the hardest part of this room wish me luck Aim for the right hand side. Oh, I faffed for too long, I'm sorry. Right, third time lucky, let's try again. Okay. Yes. And I highly recommend saving when you get the wall. Grab the wall. She wouldn't shimmy, but she is now, so it's fine. So just shimmy along. Wait for the flame. Okay, oh, I'm not gonna make it. Ooh. Okay. So that's the hard part over. come all the way to the left of this side and jump up and now jump backwards backwards and grab I'm going to equip the revolver because there are nasties Okay. Oh. I hate fighting things on small edges. <laughs> so, uh, yes, now we need the revolver to shoot out. You see, there's a small thing and a large thing and a small and a large and a small. We need to shoot the larger ones. And then you see, uh, we get three poles come out the wall. So this one's pretty easy, just swing from the poles to the edge. And I will save, just in case. Actually, I'll run over and then save. Pick this up first. So if you happen to miss the pole, when you run and jump here, it's because you are not directly in the centre. I was too far to the right that time. So aim a bit more to the left. Concentration! <laughs> here we go. And there's another pattern on this, uh, this tile here, so that's triggered these three tiles here, platforms, and as soon as we step off here, the timer starts. So the best thing to do is jump and jump, run and jump and grab, and then get to the edge of the other platform and then jump and grab. So jump, jump, run and jump, 
grab just hop forward oh <sighs> alright I'll try again I'll try it again okay so I made the poles died a couple of times but it's alright Lara has a hundred lives more than a hundred in fact so save again just in case time I've ever missed that jump. Okay, so hop and then walk forward and then stand and jump. So it's pretty simple. You get plenty of time. Well, near enough. <laughs> so I'll save it again. Because saving. Oh yes, I didn't think we got any enemies this time, but we do. Oh, that didn't do a lot of damage. Okay, so get this med pack here. And this jump's pretty straightforward, just don't get set on fire. center when you're grabbing a pole. So we've got a pretty good marker here. Well, you can't really be in the center, but never mind. Oh, She spun in the air. pressing the action button the whole time but it's okay it's fine so this time I'm on now for some reason triggered that to go inwards which I'm not sure why it's out anyway because we don't need it out something else triggers it to come out again later so now we get the joy of ropes wings you see in the ceiling there we shoot the swings out with the revolver and we swing to the larger platform there but we need to open the door so there's a, a jump switch up there and the platform above that above that uh, brings out this tile this platform here so I don't fully understand why it was out in the first place <laughs> Anyway, if we run to this med pack. Be as low as you can, otherwise she won't grab. And crouch to get it. Because of Lara's animation, she has to turn and be as forward as she can in order to get up. enough to get two lots of revolver ammo. That's quite cool. Okay. Oops. Wasted some, some shots there, but it's alright. We got loads. Obviously I'm going to save, 
just in case. Now this swing is pretty easy, it's just lining yourself up that's the hard part. And I'm also not too sure about the myth of the climbing the rope to stop it from moving. I'm not sure if it just seems like it stops it moving because you're doing stuff to kill some time, maybe? I don't know. But anyway, if you swing forwards three times, so that's one, two, and then release on the third. Yeah, okay. So it's it's easy to grab, it's just not easy to line yourself up for. this jump we need more momentum than we would think. So just keep swinging until you think you've had enough swinging. Okay. Yes. So to open the door. This is the tile that brings out the platform down there. You can't see it very well. And to open the door, we grab this switch. There we go. Simple. So now we just run straight back up and we get to do the rope swings all over again. myself up and save again, just in case, because rope swings. Okay. You know, the thing I like about this game is you get the um, Tomb Raider 1 pods along with the anniversary pods on the walls. I think it's very different, it's quite cool to have a mixture of both. Concentration. Is that it? I think that's it. So that's one, two, and three. Oh! I let go too soon. <laughs> you knew it would happen. Sorry, I am here. It's just taken me like eight or nine attempts to do that. Right. <laughs> I'm going to save actually. Okay. So, swing as many times as you feel you need to. for one more. Awesome, okay. And this door will close behind us now. So we've got double clang clang doors. And let me line myself up. Easy peasy. Okay. So 
if we follow it through, uh, we will come to the doppelganger room. And when we enter, there will be two creatures that come out. There's a, a crawler one straight ahead, and then there's a winged one straight just on the other side of the wall here. So I'll use my pistols this time. I'll go for the one on the left, on the right first, this one. And then I can just keep jumping backwards. Oh, where is he? There he is. So if you keep standing behind him, he won't get you. But I've got him now anyway, so it's fine. In the corner here, there's a small med pack. And this room is quite different to the anniversary game. Um, I mean, the, the doppelganger is up there in a cage. You don't actually interact with the doppelganger at all. And well, you can see here, there's a, a platform there, but in order to get onto it we need it to go into the wall and to do that that's on a timer so it can come out and we can stand on it and so up on this ledge there's a, a block with a lever behind it we need to lower the block so we can pull the lever and the lever is what uh, well destroys the doppelganger and opens the door there so Firstly, if we come under here, this is the trigger that uh, depletes the tiles here, the platforms. And we have we can't move while the fire is active. We'll get set on fire, but because the timer is on the other side of the wall to where we need to be, I often save here because it's too much faff to go all the way back to the other side. Okay, so. And... I'll just reload because I'm I'm really don't have time for faffing. Okay, try again. So climb down here. Quickly climb up. And don't go sideways this time. It's easy to avoid the fire if you keep your feet just where the ledge is. So you can avoid the fire that way. And then sprint. Now I like to hold the action button when I get up to the lever. And she grabs it. Oh god, I just missed it. Hopefully I'll get it on this third attempt. And you can turn and move, which I should have mentioned. Okay. Oh, nearly didn't make that one.
Okay. So there's a small med pack here. And now we can make our way out of the room. So do the same thing just to get up to the other side. So there's no timer on that door. There's no rush. <laughs> we can take our time now. just here, because that will kill you. <laughs> so just follow the passage, the passageway. And then we're at the final stage here. So we pull the two levers. I like to do this side first because it's very hard. It's so annoying. Save the game and wait for the tiles to go in and then count to six. So we're from the come out again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoa. Nope. There we go. <laughs> Give you some five before I reload. Okay, so I'm having a lot of difficulty with this one, so I'm going to go and try the other one before I rage quit. <laughs> it's not easy, that one. So I'll do this one. I prefer to do the other one, just because it is so much harder. Okay. So this one's pretty simple. rage quit a little bit there but I'm back now so you have to wait just a second before jumping again from this platform here just a second so anyway now we're up here that spawns a flying mutant They're shooting at me when I can't see you. Died. Just keep rolling around. Don't touch me. Don't touch me, please. Please don't touch me. Don't touch me. Okay. It didn't touch me. I don't think it touched me. Not very much, anyway. So. Uh, now we can pull the lever. And the bridge appears. This is such a triumphant moment, just because I managed to finally get to that lever. 
but uh, now I gotta get back. It's actually a little bit easier getting back. So come to the edge and hop back. I'm gonna save just in case. Just in case. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. <laughs> easier you stand and jump stand and jump into a running jump so here is where I'm going to end the video um, as soon as you walk up to the ski on piece here sorry I'm not controlling her very well as soon as you walk up to the piece you get a cutscene oh, I don't want to activate the cutscene I will leave that until the next video so Thank you for watching part one of Beyond the Ski On, and I hope you join me again in part two. Thanks a lot. See you soon, guys.